Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here I have for you today is the High Grade Moon Gundam. Now this kit in particular uh, caught my attention because it is just so highly detailed and the crescent on its back just looks so cool with the translucent parts um, so it was something I really had to grab for myself uh, now this is actually a prototype mobile suit for uh, the Sazabi and that has me kind of curious because it is a smaller mobile suit than the uh, Sazabi so I think it might be a prototype in just um, kind of like the schematics mostly uh, I don't think it's really as far as the uh, overall like mobile suit itself but just kind of more the um, the in internal kind of uh, stats that it has uh, might be more of the prototype vice the you know physicality of it uh, but other than that let's go ahead and start checking it out so this was released in 2018 number 215 the Universal Century line and retails for about 3,000 yen. All right, we're taking a look at the side of the box. I think this kit looks phenomenal. The front and rear shots really, you know, showcase the level of details that this kit's gonna have. Uh, and also just seeing the crescent on the back, I think it's, it's overall going to make this kit stand out amongst most high grades in your collection. And they just show you a little more of the details right there. And for the weapons, you do see all the psycho plates, you see the butterfly edges, the beam tomahawk, and the beam rifle. And looking over here, you're gonna see some more of like the nice little poses and all the gimmicks. Uh, so overall, you see like the wide range of motion. It's definitely gonna have some really good posability overall. The gimmicks with the knees, uh, overall the gimmicks with um, the backpack, as you know, especially because they're very versatile. They can be used as a shield, uh, funnels, or just kind of be put on the back itself, and they fold in or you know or open uh, to make the little crescent shape. Nice little illustration right here. And if you want, you can go ahead and read all this right now. So in no particular order, we're just going to take a look at all the runners. Uh, this is going to be runner E, and it's going to have like a nice little, it's almost like a matte color, uh, but it's going to be gray. This is all going to be the inner frame. Looks like this might be parts for the backpack, uh, but definitely all the inner frame right inside here. And it looks pretty good. And next is runner A1. This is going to be a more grayish white, uh, but just look at the level of detail that's gonna be on these uh, these little funnel bits. Uh, this should be the uh, more inside part of the funnels because it's gonna connect to the backpack. And just over here, you see more of all this like kind of grayish white. And it has a more, um, like it's almost like semi-gloss, but overall it does look really good. And next is gonna be runner C2, which is this like purple color. Uh, this is gonna be the shoulders, which has an amazing level of detail. And then just uh, some parts over here. I don't really know what this part is. I think this might be part for the, uh, the foot, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is definitely gonna be the foot and just overall great level of details. And here's runner D. Runner D is gonna be another gray runner. Uh, it's gonna have more parts for the inner frame. Looks like for the legs, you got the waist. Uh, you got parts for like the uh, back of the skirt, which has a great amount of detail right inside there. You got some like vents, uh, some piping right here. You got the backpack, all the hands. So the hands do look really good as well. I'm glad they come with uh, both open and these open, and you got the uh, the one that grips the gun. And here's the gun itself, the little beam rifle. So overall, the you know runner D with all the inner frame and weapons look pretty good. And here's runner C1. Uh, C1 is de definitely going to be another purple, but instead of having you know the uh, the feet, you're also going to have uh, the front chest part as well as the back part of the chest so a little, little bit of details inside those uh, but overall it's just a nice I think it's a nice uh, color purple uh, not really too vibrant it's kind of more uh, dulled down but looks pretty good nonetheless and here's runner F2. F2 is just going to be some of the red parts. I uh, definitely want to color some of this. Uh, I'm probably going to do bronze uh, or, or I might do silver. Actually, silver might be a best bet for this, uh, for the, you know, like some of these little pipings. Uh, and then you got parts for the face right up here. And this looks like to be the, uh, the little jewel for the uh, V-Fin. And here's runner B. Runner B is going to be another uh, white runner, but it still kind of looks a little bit grayish to me. Uh, could be just my eyes, but it definitely looks a little bit more um, kind of gray tone than just like a pure white. Uh, but this is just going to be the outer armor, so you got parts for the legs, the front skirts. Uh, this looks like the ankle skirts, and then uh, back skirts, so on and so forth, and uh, parts of the head right here in the corner. And here is runner A2. A2 is going to have just uh, more parts for these little funnels. You got some side skirt action going on, legs. Um, so just more of the white parts is going to be um, for the kit. And I forgot to mention you actually get two runner E's, vice the one. Um, so it's just going to be parts for the inner frame. And here is runner G1, which is going to be some more white parts. You got the little V-fin right there. Um, looks like this might be parts for the knees, if I'm not mistaken. 
runner G2, which is going to be the yellow parts for the kit. And here is runner H, which is going to be the um, headpiece for the kit, which is already going to be pre-painted with uh, the green for the, the little cameras in the front and the back, as well as the eyes, so you don't really have to worry about painting. Now you also get a clear version of that, so if you want to go ahead and paint uh, all this, uh, whether you want to paint it like silver with uh, the green on top of that, you definitely can. Um, so I think this is a great addition if you just don't want to use the, uh, the green that it comes with. And here you have the red translucent funnels that are going to be part of the crescent uh, on its back. And overall it looks really good. So um, I think it's a little bit darker than what I would have liked it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it's definitely going to look good once it's popped onto the kit itself. And the last thing we have is going to be this, uh, you know, basically clear effect part. So you got parts for like the little boomerang and the beam tomahawk. And I forgot to mention you get the action base 5 stand, uh, which I think is really awesome that it comes with it. And this is probably one of the main reasons that the price tag is a little bit up there, is because you are getting a full stand with it. And we're looking at the manual front of it, looks pretty good. You get a lot of details right up here about what the uh, kit's going to have, and just the armaments overall. Uh, if you look at the back, the back looks pretty good. You're going to have information on all the different uh, accessories that it has. And you kind of look get a little bit of the, um, kind of the storyline, not storyline, but... Uh, the predecessor as well as uh, the successor to uh, the Moon Gundam. So we do have the Real Grace Azabi and we are still missing this kit uh, which is the uh, Vargul and pr pretty much that's how you pronounce it, Vargul. Um, so definitely looking forward to getting this kit as well just because I would like to have all these together. Uh, but I still need to go ahead and start reading up on uh, Moon Gundam because I don't really know too much. So I think before the review I'm just going to go ahead and start reading up a couple little bit of a uh, synopsis on it because I don't really think it has any of the manga or if it's a novel uh, in English. So I'm definitely going to try and read up and get a little bit of information if I can. Uh, but overall, you know, this kit def def is definitely looking very promising and I cannot wait uh, to get this kit built and reviewed for you guys. So other than that guys, uh, definitely stay tuned for the review which should be tomorrow because I'm going to start working on this kit right now. Uh, but I'll be seeing y'all in that review. Bye bye.